Okay. You can see this is. I can't think of a room that better represents the state my life is in currently. Hey, I'm Nathan and uh, taking a little break from my kids. Under quarantine, parenting is uh, something different. But uh, I'm trying to get outside as much as I can, more than I ever have in a while, actually. So it's good. It's really good. Back in Anubik from Whitehorse. Now, what are we doing, guys? Building a snow fort. School is closed, daycare is closed. Everybody's out enjoying the minus four weather. It's beautiful. And today we're building a snow fort. This is what social distancing looks like in the Yukon. Jen, this is what every day looks like in the Yukon. <laughs> my parents and my mom was a professional musician so I asked her if she wanted to teach me some piano so I've been um, playing the piano with her once a day um, and just learning some rudimentary um, pieces so I'm on level one now and I'm having a lot of fun with it. I believe it's my 14th day of quarantine. So I started acting about a year ago and I felt like I was just kind of breaking through. I just finished filming my first movie and felt like I was on the right track. Um, but obviously this pandemic has happened and I don't have work anymore. I, my classes have been canceled. Um, my auditions have halted. Um, and it's, it's scary. I think you don't ever want to fall behind, but there's it's hard to find out what you should be doing when you are in such a collaborative um, industry. It's this new world that we're going to try to navigate to figure out how to stay sharp with our skills. Um, so I've just been reading as many acting books as I can get and I've been watching um, some really, really fantastic movies to just watch other actors and I'm just trying my best to stay positive, I'm bored. I'm so bored! Uh, but I know I'm lucky and I have to put that into perspective. As the whole uh, COVID-19 pandemic was unfolding, I was actually abroad. I had left um, late January to begin my uh, very large backpacking adventure. I had planned to travel all around Southeast Asia and India, Sri Lanka, uh, Thailand, all, all Southeast Asia and Asia. Um, however, I had been to two countries and watching all of this unfold was really crazy. Uh, it seemed like something that was out of a movie. It just seemed one day, all of a sudden, every hour there was new updates coming out and all of a sudden there was a wave of uncertainty that kind of just made its way over um, not just India where I was but the whole world. So currently I am at my parents home back in Canada. It's been a long journey to get here um, and I'm actually in, so I'm, I'm in my 14 day quarantine right now so I have to quarantine myself from the rest of my family. Uh, there's a bathroom right next to my room and when I go out, I wear a mask, I have um, gloves and I have sanitizer and make sure all the doorknobs are always clean and they do their part as well, it's just keeping as far away as possible. Um, I have meals, my mom is amazing, she delivers meals outside my door um, a few times a day um, and this process, she's made it really easy so I'm very lucky for that. Look up to sky. I'm grateful for Aslan. I'm grateful for Mommy. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for Cardi. <laughs> I'm grateful for all the blessings I have in my life. I'm grateful for Cardi. You said Cardi Toast. <laughs>
Oh, I'm grateful for daddy. <laughs> okay, take another couple deep breaths. One more. This may not be your typical isolation video. We are currently on March break and I had booked to come here to Bali. But also, we don't even know when our school's gonna open, but they've not yet told us that they will close till the end of the year. If I go home early, I still have to teach online, which would require me teaching in like live class hours. And because it's a 12 hour difference, I'd be teaching and sat at my computer all night long, um, which is maybe nothing to complain about, but will be very hard to engage with my students when I'm sat somewhere on a computer so far away and no one around me can relate to what I'm going through. If I do go home to Canada, where can I go? I will need to probably rent out a, an apartment or something just to be able to isolate. I don't want to put my parents or family or friends at risk. Sorry. Um, and a lot of my friends are also doing that way. My boyfriend can't come to Canada. I can't go to Australia. I'll be quite separated from everyone that I hold dear. It's also very good to make art as much as you can. I just think it's more important than ever to be as kind as you can be. I'm trying to be really kind, kinder than I normally would be. Video chatting a lot so I can see people's faces, having conversations from across the streets, trying to have some kind of connection still with people. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. It's hard not knowing when we will breathe again I know it's hard not knowing when we'll be free again I know it's hard not to know when we'll touch again